This is a story about two curves. Confused? Well, you won't be after this episode. So, when last we talked, we made a few prototypes, 3D modeled a few things, and came up with a few designs that we thought we'd like to try out. So in this video, we'll end up looking at how those trials went and what, uh, what we ultimately decided to end up doing here. So, just to remind everybody, um, this was our first design. Uh, very steep, very high. Let's see if we can get a profile there. Thought on this one was it was just going to, uh, the car was just going to bounce off, wasn't going to work. Second design was fairly high, rounded, but had a fairly flat angle to it. So, some questions on that. Third design was a concave angle coming in. Thought it might be interesting. See how that worked out with this sharp edge here as a car may hit it head on or even on the side. And the last one was very slim, very short, steep angle or gradual angle I guess if you view it that way. And let's see how they ended up working out for us and what our ultimate uh, selection was. So here we are, car out on the course, and there's no problem going over that lowest curve. It's only 10 millimeters, so maybe a little too short. The one in the upper middle is that concave angle, which does not seem to allow the car to go over it at all. It really just bounces off. The one closest here at the bottom is the 15 millimeter rounded, which car seems to be able to go over without problem, but maybe that angle could be better. That one is the very tall 20 millimeter with the steep angle, and just as we thought, that one's not going to give us anything that we're looking for. Car is able to go over 15 millimeters, no problem. 10 doesn't even slow it down. And here comes the purple beast. Let's see how many times we can run into each other here. I think we're getting a good idea of what the impacts are. The only thing we're missing here is drift up. Hey, there she is. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when we run head on into that one. No, oh, the body almost popped clear now, so that's not going to work. Everything's better when drift dogs involved. Okay, so we narrowed it down to the two that we thought it was going to be, the 10 millimeter and the 15 millimeter. As you can see, unprovoked, Drift Dog seems to think that the 15 millimeter is the way to go. So who are we to deny that expertise? So let's figure out what we can do to maybe improve on that one a little bit, but uh, that's definitely going to be the one that we choose here. Right? 
Based on our trials, we came to the conclusion that one of these two were going to be the right ones. And obviously the drift dog has spoken, and she picked this one. So, still have a little concerns on the angle itself there. So we'll see whether we can do something a little bit better and see if we can 3D model something that would get us a little closer to this one, but a little taller without such a rounded edge on it. I know we've shown this several times, so this is just Tinkercad. We'll go through and create a 15 millimeter tall curb based off of a cylinder. Some of my experimentation with the bent pipe caused things to distort on the trailing edge of the item that we were creating out there. Really didn't get where we wanted to go. So let's just do it with a cylinder on the side and we'll do the same things that we have done in the past, which is put up that fence to give us a guide as to how tall and wide we want to make it. We'll clear out the items on the bottom with a negative space cube and we'll create a slot for the pins to be able to connect them together. Starting with the straight one that we just created, let's make a 30 degree. So we'll copy a few of these out, create some shapes, pull those together, give them a little bit of an angle. I'm going to do five degrees for each one, and then we'll merge all those together and create a 30 degree turn. And what about a 45 degree turn, you say? We'll do the exact same thing. Just toss a couple extra pieces in there. Each had an additional five degree increment to the previous one, and it'll get us to 45. Here's what we came up with. So as you can see in comparisons to rounded one, it's the same height, 15 millimeters tall. However, it is a much more gradual slope than the edges of this one have. It's, uh, I'm being very almost flat on the very edge here. So I think this one will work out great. We started to model them and should be able to test some out here in a couple days. Uh, should have a good 10 or so done that we can uh, have one more video and show how these ended up working out. And then we'll do actually probably one more even after that, that will have some of the 30 degree and 45 degree angles associated with it. But connectors seem like they work just fine uh, in all the different designs. So we'll move forward with that. So we'll talk to you soon, wherever you are. Hope you have a great day.